B A A G. So if you run that, you'll get an error. Go to packages, install B A A G, this first one. So let's run this line after installing the package. And in this package D A A G, we have a data set called rainforest. If you want to look at the structure, so this is the data, 65 observations and seven variables. There are six numeric variables and there's one factor variable. It also has species as one of the variables and it has four levels. Rainforest. One thing you'll notice is in the summary for all the numeric variables, it has done all those standard things like minimum, first quartile, median, mean, third quartile, maximum. For wood, same thing, but then there's extra row which says NAs. NA means not available, or it's another name for missing data. And missing data is very common. Somebody entering data may have missed something, or while entering data, something was not clear and that person was not able to decide what this data is. So that will appear as NA. And out of 65, one data point not available, not a big deal. But out of 65, 61 missing data. So that's definitely a big number. So a lot of data is missing. For wood, let's try and find mean. So in forest and dollar sign wood. You run this and it doesn't give you any mean. It says not available. Mean is not available. So just because one data point is missing, it doesn't calculate. Although it was calculated here, but if you want to individually do like standard deviation or quartile or something, you are going to get not available. So the way you can handle that is by putting a comma and then saying NS dot R M, which is basically NA not available values will be removed while calculating, you say true. So T either you can write like full T R U E or simply uppercase T. So when you run that, you get a value which is same as the one that you got in summary. Another data is science. So if you run that and look at summary, science, this data set has a lot of factor variables. One of the variables has two missing data points, but all others are okay. But you want to know which data points are missing because this data you can see has thousands of rows. So what you can do is you can say science. If you want to know which rows are missing, you can say science and then square bracket for rows, this exclamation mark, which is used as a not complete dot cases in science data and then comma. If you leave empty, which means it will return all the columns. So if you run this, it tells us that uh, 671st and 672nd, so those rows have missing data. You can also check uh, dimension of signs, how many rows and how many columns it has, 1,385 and seven. For such data where only two data points are missing, let's say somebody wants to just get rid of those two rows and save it in new data. So I want to just get rid of those two rows. So we can say na.omit, function. So NAs will be omitted. We don't want to change the science uh, data set, but we want to store that modified data in new data. So this is what it will do. And if you check dimension of new data, just now created, you see earlier there were 1385 rows. It comes down to 1383. For this class, we use R. Obviously, some people will ask why R? So the most important reason is it's free and it works on Windows, Mac, Ubuntu, or cloud used by all the top companies, uh, you name it. This is just a sample, but I know many big companies use it. And it is one of the best uh, packages for uh, graphics. You will see that you can do some of the graphics so easily in R. Very high quality graphics can be generated. It has more than 10,000 free packages available which are developed by experts in the field, big companies, and uh, it has a very active community. 
if you have any error, if you copy paste that in Google, you'll find that so many people have commented on it and already some answers are available for those problems. And it's great for research. I use R for all my research. Whenever I have to run any statistical or machine learning model, I go to R. And statisticians, like anybody who does statistics, they go to R. 